What's going on everybody? This is Rob with The Curated Culture and these are a pair of the Nike LeBron 18, the Christmas in LA colorway. I'm very excited to be checking these out. This is actually my first pair of LeBrons. I've, I've never owned a pair of LeBrons before, so really excited to check these dudes out, which we're gonna do in just a moment. But before we get into that, y'all need to look down below. Look at that subscribe icon. If it is not grayed out, if it's bright, beautiful red, you need to go ahead and click on the subscribe icon so you subscribe to this channel. That way, you get every single video that I upload. So without further delay, let's uh, let's take a peek at the sneakers here. For starters, I'm a fan of, of the box. Like, there's this real simple yet complex aesthetic behind it. Like, I can tell that it's very obviously cardboard. But the top here kind of has a look that mimics leather, if that makes sense. So every year, Nike drops sneakers that has like a holiday slash Christmas uh, uh, feel or vibe to them. This year is no different. These LeBrons are Christmas themed, winter themed, and uh, I'm a big I'm a big fan of celebrating the holidays. And you'll see with the sneaker itself exactly what I mean. I'm gonna leave the box up here. These are your sneakers here, man. These are the LeBron 18 Christmas in LA. I love the look of this shoe. Now, the top, the upper of the sneaker is um, constructed with what Nike calls their knit posit design, which is a, a heavier, more durable, more ruggedized cloth material, um, which in my experience, most of the time when the sneakers have that, um, that knit posit design, it usually makes them a little bit stiffer too, but it's still overall a great looking sneaker. Now, design wise, you're gonna notice that there's a ton of different um, wintry or holiday elements at play here. So for one, there's these little areas units on the tongue and also the big air unit on the back of the sneaker there on the heel and these actually have like little snow wintry accents on them uh, the tongue itself in one of the um, one of the air units there you can kind of see a little green LeBron lion uh, that signifies his brand of course and then of course you got your red laces there but in the other sneaker you have two different Pop those boys out. You actually have two different sets of green laces to rock with these, which I am almost 100% certain I'm gonna take these red laces out, throw the green ones in there just for that little extra pop. Uh, the rest of the way, you have a little gold Nike accent swoosh right on the toe, and then another gold accent along the side of the sneaker there. And then of course, where is it? There it is. You got that kind of Grinch green Nike swoosh on the opposite side. All in all, the sneaker looks great. It looks very cool. It's got this icy sole on the bottom there with some more red and green accents. Just from the feel of it, it feels a, a little bit heavier than most of the sneakers that I buy. I generally roll with like your lighter sneakers, your Yeezy Boost. Um, the Jordan 1 is a lighter sneaker than what this is. So this is definitely constructed uh, to be or to be like a basketball sneaker. A very rugged and I'm assuming very durable design. Um, my only worry or my only concern with the knit posit is just like pretty much anything else if you catch these sneakers on something you're going to run into a little bit of a snag kind of like a sweater but um, outside of that they look pretty cool i like them so another kind of neat thing about the sneaker is uh when you take the insole out it also has this lovely little lebron christmas um Christmas ornament, I don't know why I couldn't think of that word. Right on the inside of the insole there. It's a little added holiday flair. So the next thing that I wanna do is, um, I wanna throw these boys on feet and see how they feel, how they fit, and uh, if they are actually as heavy as I think they are.
So with the sneaker on foot, yeah, it does feel a little bit heavier, but also it feels, at least to me, it feels a little snug. So I would probably recommend maybe jumping up a half size bigger than what you usually wear. Um, that's just me though. I, I, I know how I like my sneakers to fit and some people like them a little looser. I'm one of those people or I like them comfort fit. Uh, some people like them snug or true to size. So definitely my recommendation would be to go a half size up. They're not as rigid as I originally thought, which is, is actually pretty good. So you can maybe even throw on some thinner socks to offset that feel. Um, but either way, it's a comfortable sneaker. It's not something that is uh, too overly heavy on the foot, too warm on the foot. Uh, for a basketball shoe, it is surprisingly comfortable. All right, y'all, that was a quick look at the LeBron 18 Christmas in LA. Let me know what you think of the sneaker in the comments down below. Is this something that you had on your list of must cops? This is my first actual cop of 2021, even though I purchased the sneakers in 2020. I didn't get them until after the new year, so uh, technically this counts. I'm claiming it as my first purchase of 2021. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, again, like I said at the top of the video, make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on that bell icon so you get notified each and every time that I upload. If you feel so inclined, also follow me over on the socials, the tweets, Instagrams, the Snapchats, and on TikTok. I have a TikTok now uh, via at Robbie Diesel. Go ahead and follow your boy along over there. And uh, I want to thank y'all so very much for watching this. I hope you have had a happy new year so far, and I hope that you continue to have one. I'll catch y'all on the next video. Adios.